Hi folks, this is Shefik. Today we are going to perform vector similarity search with MongoDB. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. In this experiment, we are going to use DeepFace to represent facial images as multidimensional vectors and as a data set we are going to use the unit test items of DeepFace library. You are able to access this data set in this URL. I'm going to import the operating system module first. Thereafter call at walk function and walk over the unit test items of DeepFace. DeepFace tests and data set. Walk function is returning directory path, directory names and file names. Here file names is a list that's why I'm going to build another for loop for file name in file names. Then let's print the file name. Here I'm going to store the image path variable with directory path plus file name. This is the exact path of our images. Here I'm going to check its extension f includes.jpg in the image path thereafter get all those items here i'm going to initialize the empty list image paths and i'm going to append each item into that list now we are going to use the base library to represent each image path as multi-dimensional vector from deep face import deep face in this block i'm going to build a for loop for image path in image paths. Also, I'm going to import Takadum library. And here I'm going to call deepface.represent. And as the input, image path is going to be image path. Model name is going to be facenet. Finally, detector backend is going to be empty CNN. This is going to return the embedding objects. And this is going to be a list. I just focus on the first face. In this object, that's why I'm going to access at zero index. Thereafter, get its embedding value, and let's store this in the embedding variable. And here, I'm going to store image path and embedding pair into my Mongo collection. That's why here I'm going to import PyMongo dependency, and this block is responsible for embeddings. And let's create another block for. MongoDB initialization. I already run the connection string setting block, but it includes my username and password. That's why I'm not going to run this again and you are not going to see it. But suppose that I run a cell here and setting my MongoDB connection string. Here, firstly, let's create the MongoDB client pymongo.mongo client and set connection string as input argument. Thereafter, I'm going to specify the database name and it's going to be deepface. It's going to be my database. Thereafter, I'm going to mention the collection or table. It's going to be facial database. This is going to be the collection. We are able to test the connection of this client. Client.soundDB.comment and let's run ping command. It returns OK. Everything is OK. Now we can use this client and insert our image path and embedding data into our Mongo database. In this loop, I'm going to call collection.insert1 and send a dictionary. Name is going to be image path. Secondly, embedding is going to be embedding. Embeddings of my facial database is just transferred to the Mongo and let's see in the MongoDB compass. My device database is created and facial database collection is ready. As you can see, I have name and embedding case and embedding is a list with 128 dimensions from 0 to 127. Now I'm going to search a vector in this database and I'm going to find the nearest ones. I use the unit test items of the face library and represent those facial images as vectors and store them in my Mongo database. 
Meanwhile, I'm going to represent this target.jpg image as multidimensional vectors and look for the nearest vectors in my Mongo database. Let's represent this target one as vectors. Image path as target.jpg. Thereafter, I'm going to call the face.represent and image path is going to be target.jpg. Similarly, model name is going to be facenet. Finally, detector backend is going to be empty CNN. This is going to be the object and here I'm going to focus on the first face in this image because object is a list here. Thereafter, access at embedding key and this is going to be my target embedding. Let's see the content of target embedding. It's 128 dimensional vector. We can confirm that. It's 128 dimensional vector. Now we are going to find the nearest neighbors of this vector in Mongo. Firstly, I'm going to copy the content of this vector. Then I'm going to run an aggregations query at the new stage. And here my stage is going to be add fields. And name of the new field is going to be target embedding. And let's set my target embedding vector here. Then we can run this pipeline. It returns my documents with new target embedding column. This is same for all documents and coming from my target embedding. Thereafter, I'm going to add new stage and my second stage is going to be unwind. Here, I do not need the second and third arguments. Pet is going to be embedding. Thereafter, as you can see, each dimension of this embedding is exposed in a column. Similarly, I'm going to unwind the target embedding. Now, as you can see, each dimension of embedding and target embedding are wind. Here, I'm winding embedding and target embedding arrays caused to have Cartesian multiplication. But I just need to compare the first dimension of target embedding and embedding and second dimension of embedding and target embedding. That's why here I'm going to add a project stage. But before that, we need to add the include array index argument here and it's going to be embedding index as you can see this is the first dimension this is the second dimension similarly i'm going to do it for target embedding in that way i'm going to compare same dimension values for example here embedding index is zero and target embedding index is one i'm going to discard this now i can modify the project stage here at name field embedding field target embedding field and finally compare this is going to be a function and we are going to set the target embedding index and embedding index as you can see here i got the compare value zero and here compare value is one i just focus on the compare value is equal to zero to perform this task i'm going to add a new stage for match here I expect compare must be equal to zero. As you can see, the compare value is one is dismissed and I just have compare value is equal to zero in this documents. Now I can compare the embedding dimension value and target embedding dimension value. I need to find the difference of those dimension values for each dimension. To find the Euclidean distance, we are going to add the new stage for group underscore id is going to be image name itself then i'm going to find the distance for each dimension firstly we are going to find the difference of each dimension that's why we are going to use the subtract function and it's going to be a list and we are going to find the distance of embedding and target embedding then we are going to find the squared value of this difference that's why I'm going to use power function and here this subtraction is going to be in curly bracket finally and this term must be in bracket similarly let's move the squared value in the next line and finally let's find the sum for each dimension.
as you can see i find the distance value here for each facial image i mean image 35.jpg and target.jpg its distance as 282 by the way we need to find the square root value of this distance value that's why i'm going to add a new project line and here underscore id is going to be one and distance is going to be we are going to use the square root function of mongo and this is going to find the square root value of distance as you can see it finds the square root values now i need to discard the items with distance values greater than the predefined threshold value and the predefined threshold value for facenet module is 10 because we performed euclidean distance formula and mongodb to discard some items i'm going to add a new project line and set id to one then distance to one and here i'm going to add a new condition curly bracket use mongos little than or equal to function and in the bracket let's check distance value is less than 10 of course in the bracket we should use comma as you can see if the distance is 17 the condition is going to be false because it's not less than or equal to 10 now i'm going to discard the false conditions that's why here i'm going to add match and check condition is equal to true and finally we are going to use the sort function and let's sort values with distance image 5.jpg is the nearest one and image 7.jpg comes after it let's remember our target image and find the closest ones in this folder image 5.jpg this is angina julie and image 7.jpg this is angina julie image 10.jpg this is angina julie image 6.jpg this is angina julie image 2.jpg this is Angina Julie. Image 4.jpg. This is Angina Julie. Image 1.jpg. This is Angina Julie. And finally, image 11.jpg. This is Angina Julie too. As you can see, all items returned from this aggregated query are belonging to Angina Julie. So we can successfully perform vector search with Euclidean distance in this experiment. And we basically performed Euclidean distance formula in stage six and stage seven. We find the difference subtraction of each dimension. Thereafter find its squared values and thereafter we find the sum of each dimension value and finally we find the square root, root value to calculate the Euclidean distance here we filter items with large distance values remember that this is the predefined threshold and in that way we are able to perform vector similarity search on mongo because mongo can store arrays as input thank you all for watching and see you next time